hii hii Ah uh, imenipata off guard na waje tuiongelelee kidogo tuone issue iko wapi na shinda ni gani because uh, in the last couple of months and almost all uh, year the petrol diesel kerosene pia imepanda na hii kitu nimeiona nikaona hey, watu hapa nje kimewaramba na ni kungori na watu wenye wako na tugari hybrid kama mimi bado tunangangana kwa barabara hata kama saa nyingine unasema hey, wacha ikae alafu tembe now kuna hii news ina trend inasema nini Kenyans have shied away from using their vehicles and wamerudi kwa nini kwa matatu na wengine wanasema eh hey, gari hapa saa hii you use it when it is absolutely necessary si kila wakati si kila now and then and is that is true now before to answer your story na tuongelelee hiyo maneno If you're new to this channel, my name is Patrick Motuma and you are on Pamrick Show. So, nilikuwa tu shughuli zangu hapa na pale nikasema acha nikae hapa nitengeneze hii video mweke kwa comment hapo mniambie kama kuna solution ama tutaendelea kuangaika hivi. Fuel saa hii inafika around 212 shillings. Meaning for before hapo unajua saa nyingine petrol ilikuwa tulikuwa tumezoea 100 shillings. 120 kienda sana saa hii ni 212 ndio nikaona christmas season hapa kwa our apartments uh, watu waliacha magari yani ni christmas season na watu wameamua waende na buses na wakaacha magari that hit me nikaona kumbe mtu mwenye anatoka maybe kutoka Nairobi mpaka Kisumu gari yake initially ilikuwa inakunywa assuming Anafika maybe huko Busia nini ama Kisumu ilikuwa inakunywa 10000 when fuel was around 110 ama 100 shillings. Hii gari kama ilikuwa inakunywa 10000 saa hii ina consume fuel ya uh, 20000. Na huyo mtu akipiga mahesabu yake kwenda huko home na kurudi a fare cost yake itamaliza 6000. Wakaacha magari wapi? Pale Eh, kwa apartments parking ilikuwa imebaki magari kadhaa ni kadhani ni apartment hizo zetu nini hizo ziko na shida kupiga piga round huko kwenye tunakuita the great wall apartments magari zimebaki huko ukikuja kwa main road highway expressway bado hakuna magari meaning the cost of well contributed greatly to people are living their vehicles so nikaona eh hapa tusa hii itaendelea mpaka lini because this fuel price sioni kishuka anytime soon wakenya wengine hapa nje wanasema ni nini mko na mambo sana ati mumepata technique ya kunyima uh, the president ama the current regime uh, taxes na kuacha magari kwa nyumba eh? <laughs> Hapa KRA itakuja itaanza ku impose taxes on idle vehicles. Wengine wanasema jumuko na hiyo ujanja ya kuacha gari unatumia gari ukilipa mshahara. Hmm? Hizi siku zingine hutumii mnanyima taxes eh, government. Hapa sasa naona mtakujiwa tutaanza ku tax hizo gari mnaacha hapo. No idling of the vehicle. Kama utumii gari uza. Eh? Piana gari yako itumike na wengine. But life and uh, the cost of fuel may contribute to this factor according to the news wanasema the consumption of fuel has gone down this is as a result of people refusing to spend on fuel uh, people have refused na wameka brakes na wakasema ah pia matatu ni gari so unapata mtu anatumia once in a while kuna mwingine pale a friend of mine to go in the same uh, place Analiambia gari yake ni 1800 cc. 1800 cc. 1800 cc hiyo gari kugurumisha tu hivi na itoke place yako, aende job. Up na job scene, job ni around 1 uh, kilometer back and forth. Eh? Ai ni 1 ama 2 kilometers. Hiyo gari 500 nyua imenyorosha. Distance yenye na walk within 5 uh, minutes afsha afika ama 10 ama 20. Kugurumisha tu imenyorosha 500 kufika kwa kazi. Kaniambia, "Ai Patrick, eh hey, a a a. Wenye wananisifingi juu niko na gari waacha hizo sifa zikae." Akaamua 
hapo inatoka tu Sunday <laughs> na mwanangu tu akitoka nayo Sunday akienda kanisa na anairudisha namwambia umerudisha kiongozi mpaka next Sunday eh, eh, anasema we wacha tu aende kanisa arudi nayo juu hiyo time at least anaenda na familia wote sasa wezi bebana na mtoto upande kwa ndudhi nini wende nikamuelewa na nikaona yenyewe ni kunoma so guys mimi nataka muniambie tuko na solution ya hii situation eh? because prices za hizi vitu zimepanda but income bado iko pale pale In... nayo ndio hii epra epra inatungoja tarehe 14 january tarehe 14 they are announcing new fuel prices hiyo kitu inamaanisha nini unajua uh, they reduce the price Uh, during the festive season they reduced uh, petrol na pia diesel re, was reduced from 27 uh, di, uh, petrol was 217 it came all the way to uh, 212 for nairobians but to those outskirts of nairobi it was almost 2 and 215 shillings now january hapa wanakuja ku review tena and i'm thinking maybe they reduce for the festive season because if they want to recover the same amount that they reduced they will reduce the, the 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 prices maybe to 218 am 219 who knows so we have some uh, some situation or regulatory authority epra that is not certain on what they are going to do the other day our emo president said he doesn't control anything that oil matters Okay, but easy policies at least they should be giving us a three three months uh, grace period of a particular uh, fuel price unajua maybe for the next three months mavuta ni 215 unakaa hapo na una stress lakini every month you in panic mode ni yake full tank kama ni si yake full tank za hiyo yani una uko tu itapana ama itashuka ama nikieka yani tuko ni kama betting atujui Umeipata mko ina situation ni kama mnafanya betting na fuel. Ama maybe uko kwa cryptocurrency, ujui itapanda ama itashuka. Uncertain moment. Na there were time, there were time Kenyans never cared about uh, the, the the fuel pricing because we knew at least iko moderate na inaweza kuwa managed. Saa hii yani tunangoja kama KCC results. <laughs> Eh, uko tu na tarehe 14 uko hapo lazima unataka kujua ikoaje ni kama KCC resort tu uko kila mkenya anataka kuona imepanda imeshuka ikoaje nikimbie ni fuel so and so many things that are happening that i think for us kenyans maybe in the whole world that is being that is affected who knows news za news za hapa na pale zinakuwa interpreted differently but um, for us as uh, wa Kenya wa kawaida we need maybe to make our own decision tujue vile tutakaa na hii maisha ikiwa ngumu hivi ndio hii hapa expressway expressway magali zimepungua juu unapiga hesabu upande expressway ulipe hiyo a 500 shillings kwa expressway then uh, fuel ndio hiyo so for you kutoka kwenye unatoka maybe mose kumama wapi mpaka town expense to kwa gari tu ya 1500 cc kwenda chini expense to expressway ndio hiyo itakunyonya 400 kama unafika town kama uh, unaenda mpaka westlands hapo itanyorosha nini Mia tano. so ndio hiyo tano wewe ndio huyo tena unyoroshwe fuel ya karibu mia sita ama mia saba expense ya hiyo gari hiyo siku pekee ni karibu 1200 and remember before that before all this expense ilikuwa at least natumikienda sana ni mia tano so oh guys i understand now i understand you for parking the vehicles i do i do yo pia mimi i used to piga marap za kutafuta hii content on a regular basis eh, niko wapi niko kiambu nimetoka kiambu nimeenda kajiando nimetoka kajiando niko kitengela nimetoka kitengela nimeenda uh, uko murang yani lakini we 
until nikafanya mahesabu nikaona yenyewe nataka kupiga content but the cost na income pia aziendani so inabidi ufanye maesa maesab so watu wengine wanasema eh hey, tunataka ile tunataka lakini ukipiga hiyo fuel cost nini nini sengine inalemea watu na hapa hatutaki kuweka paybill au oh, tusaidie wengine wana tukiweka mnafanya muioni uh, but all in all uh, things have changed and it's okay to accept and uh, ensure that we manage the cost na tujaribu ku regulate uh, pole 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 bila pressure tuki accept situation ndivyo iko mimi naona tuta survive tu tumia gari when it's necessary kama unapiga content yako kama unapiga boka yako uh, kama mimi najua wakati nahitaji nitaitumia napiga shughuli na nianshue wazee na watu wangu hapa amu takosa hizi mavitu zinatokea zinatokea kama magari za auction kama um, changes in the industry all those things tunazileta hapa and if you are in employment kama unaweza manage kutumia matatu na once in a while natumia gari it's okay at least you have a car kuna mwenye hiyo ni dream yake saa hii kuona hiyo gari so wacha ku complain sana okay so guys from this end i'm saying in january munajua ni 45 days na hizo zingine zinakwanga 28 na 30 days so bado tunaisukuma tunaikokota but everything will be okay so my name is Patrick Mutuma and you are on Pamrex show so mimi nikiangalia huku na huku naona ni magari tu zimepakiwa na wacha tuone kama ziko so guys see you